The main psychoactive compound in cannabis is called THC. THC is what gives you that high feeling. After consumption, THC enters your bloodstream and makes its way to the brain. It then binds to receptors in the brain called cannabinoid receptors. This causes a release of neurotransmitters, which are chemicals that signal the brain. The neurotransmitters activated helps regulate mood, sleep, memory, and appetite. THC can impair driving because it binds to cannabinoid receptors at the back of the brain called the cerebellum, which control motor coordination. Research also hints at an increased risk of collisions when under the influence of cannabis. The primary effects of THC last for about one to two hours. However, half the chemical is still in the system for 20 hours to about 10 days depending on the consumption. So THC may be in the body longer than you think. In 1925, drug impaired driving became illegal in Canada. In Canada, the leading cause of death and injury is from impaired driving. 3,500 out of 69,000 impaired driving incidences were drug related. If police officers suspect an individual driving under the influence, they are obligated to take measures. These measures include drug screening devices such as breath and oral fluid samples that are able to detect levels of THC. The two prohibitory levels of THC are 2 nanograms to 5 nanograms of THC per milliliter in the blood, which is the lesser offense. And greater than 5 nanograms of THC per milliliter in the blood is considered a serious offense. A grain of rice is 600,000 times larger than that amount. Both amounts are an offense resulting in consequences that can range from fines, suspension of a license, criminal charges, or jail time. These are dependent on the severity and the result of the individual's drug-impaired driving. However, current legal limits may not be the best measure of impairment when it comes to cannabis consumption. Cardex is a company that is developing a universal impairment screening device, including cannabis impairment. This device cancels human error and applies machine learning to analyze an individual's physiological signs. These vital signs they use to measure impairment include eye movement, body temperature, brain, heart, and muscle activity to accurately screen and identify impairment in real time. There's no product on the market that really is providing the accuracy you are saying you're going to get to, and that's fantastic. So many issues um, that do need to be solved, and if you can do it in one box, uh, the potential is huge. So it's our GuardX, we're developing a universal impairment screening device to be used by police officers, private transportation companies, or anyone that needs to keep their fit for duty status intact. We basically automate the manual process that police officers conduct to date at roadside without human bias or human error. This helps both the courts and the individual getting tested because our device will tell you accurately if someone is impaired by not having the chemical substance in their body lingering, but they're actually impaired in the given moment.